question is this, uh, Mr. Prime Minister. Um, there is always, when uh, you speak at the panel with Mr. Aliyev, or when there is always as Rajani and Dumbins in the room, or online, there is always negative and this hate speech. And, um, uh, we, as initiative, we bring together Armenian and Azerbaijan experts uh, together with Heritage School, uh, also in Berlin and Belize, to discuss very specifically what can Azerbaijan and Armenia gain uh, if this peace agreement will be signed in transport, in trade, in water management, in other very specific areas, in energy, which will affect lives of everyone in Armenia and Azerbaijan. Um, and during one of these events, uh, you know, uh, Aram Arjanyan, a UN expert from, from Yerevan, uh, actually one of his interviews offered to me, he said that if Azerbaijan and Armenia sign this peace agreement, they will be in, let's say, this uh, full diesel which Armenia buys through Europe, through Russia, will come from Azerbaijan. It will affect immensely, like, the prices. Uh, in Armenia, and it will also decrease, you know, all other prices in Armenia. And for me, it was shocking that nobody talks about it, neither in Armenia nor in Azerbaijan. Like nobody is discussing what this peace can give us. Uh, so my question was: Are you discussing this with Aliyev? And why do you think there is always this negative narrative that dominates this media and public space between Azerbaijan and Armenia? Thank you. If heard yeah. a proposal here yeah. um, uh, to think about a positive agenda. And I was wondering if you can react to that positive agenda and also perhaps give us a sense of what could be a positive agenda from your point of view. Uh, I'm thankful for the uh, issue raised by um, uh, a representative of Azerbaijan, yes, if I'm not mistaken. We started the issue. Yes, he's a, he's a, I think uh, it's an initiative here based in Berlin, if I understood you correctly, and you are originally from Azerbaijan. Yes. yes. And in 2018, when I uh, became Prime Minister of Armenia, I had a call, uh, I had a call in, during my uh, press conference to the uh, social media users of Armenia and Azerbaijan, on the same issue, I asked them not to use that platform for, for, uh, for hate speech, for, uh, for aggressive rhetorics, for offensive rhetoric, but try to talk with each, with, uh, with each other, to understand each other's positions, but unfortunately my initiative wasn't uh, addressed, and I totally agree with you that we need to concentrate on the positive future of our mutual regional future. Because, you know, that's the fact. We, especially three South Caucasus countries, Georgia, Armenia, and Azerbaijan, they have very strong uh, cultural, culture, cultural similarities. That's the fact. And we need to concentrate and on the posit positive sides. You are right. We are interested. And that's true that maybe Armenia more interested in the opening of regional communications. And that's why Azerbaijan is trying to, uh, let's say, to sell it to Armenia as expensive as it possible. Hmm. But we are ready. And I, by the way, uh, I, I was criticized in Armenia many, many, People in Armenia consider me pro-Azerbaijani and they criticize me for, for being uh, like pro-Azerbaijani, pro-Turkish, uh, yeah. etc., etc. 
And I totally agree with you that we need to concentrate on positive uh, possibilities of peace and cooperation. And I, the peace agenda is my obligation. Okay. And please, uh, and I would like to have some support from Azerbaijani society as well. Okay, thank you so much. I